the day after the elections, I thought, where would we be had we not begun the fight to protect the land and the water at Standing Rock? I am so proud and happy that our people came together, all the tribes, and then we built strong alliances and allies all across the country, many cities standing with us, heck, a former vice president standing with us, movie stars too. Now we have to parlay those strong ties that have been, that have been made in the course of a very, very difficult struggle, which continues, that we will take those relationships into the next stage of struggle for tribal sovereignty and to protect Mother Earth. And one of the great things about this election, and there are some great things that happened, many Indians were elected to office. For example, there are now six native state senators in the state of South Dakota. Four of them represent Indian country directly, the other two mixed populations, but think about it. If we can build a movement that's strong and grassroots, that Indians, farmers, ranchers coming together, Trump's plan to reopen the XL pipeline extension, dead in the water. If we can take a stand the way we did around XL when they first tried to put it through and now with Trump trying to reopen it, we'll win, we'll win. I I think that the idea of Indians running for office, although we, we have had the opportunities in the past, this year we had the largest number of Indians running for local office ever. Although we did not fare well in the congressional seats that we had hoped to win in Washington, in Montana, a number of states, we did win on the local level. And when you talk about Trump and Trumpisms trying to shut down and turn back, uh, people helping policies that have existed for many years, um, then we really have to talk about a local strategy that in fact protects people, uh, places, uh, and, and really protects our ability to live a quality life. We have to think about local ordinances. We have to think about, about how tribal sovereignty can be used to protect our water and actually push up to the outer limits of what tribal sovereignty has ever been. If we're going to beat Trump if we're, and the policies that he has vowed to, to implement, then we have to put the maximum program out there. We have to say, this is what we need, not only to survive, but actually to make headway on the problems that existed before Trump's election. That's the only way we'll build strong alliances is when all of, all of Indian country is able to say to its allies, this is what tribal sovereignty is. It's prior informed consent. There's not, it's not a consultation whether or not they're gonna put a pipeline through our burial grounds. It's about our consent. They either get it or they don't. Tribes have to, in my opinion, have, will have the support to stand up and exercise that sovereignty. And in exercising it, our allies, farmers and ranchers, for example, that we've worked with previously on the XL pipeline, they'll feel stronger too. They'll have the spirit, and that's what we're talking about. We're talking about coming from deep inside our, our hearts and our minds. They'll have that courage to stand up and say, no, we, the pipeline was a, bad, was a bad idea a few years ago, and after seven years, we won that battle and stopped it. It's still a bad idea now. And we'll have a stronger alliance than we even had then, in my opinion, because under adversity, when you talk about the meaning of Trump's election in Indian country, we've seen much worse. We, our people, our ancestors have experienced the worst of genocide and colonialism. We got this. We, 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 we will fight. We will fight. We, we have always fought. And you know, one of the stereotypes of American Indians is that we're warriors. The stereotype is all wrong, all wrong. We have been warriors and are warriors now when we need to be, but the majority of Indian history is that of peacemaking, of relying on our ancestors' wisdom, our spirituality, our special connection to Mother Earth to give us strength, 
strength to negotiate, strength to resist. That's what's going to happen in Indian country post-Trump election.